Hello and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is simulation of 8 16 by 4 RAM in Verilog using Xilinx Vivado 2. Myself, Shilpa Rudravar, Assistant Professor, School of ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, Anand Pune. In previous sessions, we have seen how to write a Verilog code for 16 by 4 RAM, concept behind that, and test bench. So the link of that will be shared in the description box. Kindly go through the previous videos. So here we will be simulating that particular 16 by 4 RAM Verilog code in Vivado tool. So we have seen what is the RAM random access memory having 16 location and 4 bit data in each location will be storing. For that we are having clock data in as a 4 bit write underscore enable which is a 1 bit uh, which is used for writing or reading. So if it is 1 it will be used for writing the data in that particular address and if that is 0 you will be able to read the data from that particular address. So code we have seen and this is the simulation waveform we will be getting after writing this test bench. So this we have gone through previously. So I will be sharing that uh, link in the description box. Now what you need to do? Over here we will be clicking on Xilinx Vivado. So over here we, need, we will be creating our project. Click create new project. Next give the name i am giving ram over here kindly create your uh, folder in d drive or other than c don't create it on desktop or c drive so rtl project do not specify source as this moment you need to select your device so i am selecting rtx7 over here which we are having in our lab Package CSG 324, speed grade dash 1 and this is temperature is all remaining you can have. This is the board we are having in our lab finished. When that has been done, you will be getting this screen where this is my process window, this is my source window, this is my error window and this is the code window. At this moment you are able to see the project summary uh, which we have created, which project you have created and which uh, project or a board you have selected. So that information you are able to see it over here. Now add source. You need to create a design source. So I will be clicking on this particular create design source. Next create file. I am writing RAM here. You can give any name. Once that has been done. Finish. You can give here whatever inputs you are having. So I am giving uh, CLK address whatever you are having address is of 4 bit so that's why we need to give 3 down to 0 okay so this way you can up, uh, apply here number of input ports and output ports available anyhow I am going to copy the code which I have shown you previously so I am clicking ok when that has been done in the source window you are able to see this RAM is getting created which is the uh, extension is dot v so here i'll be copying my code whatever i have shown you previously so this is why my main code available so the code is very small over there copy and i'm pasting it over here now what is the meaning of this code that again i'll be explaining in uh, short so the module is RAM, input is clock, you are able to see clock uh, over here. Then another input is write enable which is used for writing the data into the location or reading the data from the location. This is the address at which location you need to put the data or at from what location you will be taking the data or reading the data that is defined over here. This is of 4 bit meaning of that you are having total 16 location. Data in I will be storing 4 bit data in each location that's why this 0 is to 4 that is 4 bit and this for the behavioral modeling style you need to write output in the form of data type reg and this is the data out which is again a 4 bit. This is what is memory is created meaning of this this is the reg data type name is ram underscore block here meaning of this is how many bit data you will be storing in each location that is 4 bit and how many locations such you are having so that is 0 is to 15 means 16 location so if write enable is 1 when clock is 1 write enable is 1 you will be able to write the data in that particular address or 
else if not means if this is zero will be taking the data out from that particular address whatever is given so end that is the end of this always because you have started begin and end model so once that has been done you need to save it if there any uh, error you can see it over here so in the message or in tcl console you'll be able to see this error there is no error now add source i'll be creating a simulation file that is the test bench where a uh, file is created so that you need to have that uh, sim uh, simulation that is the uh, input stimulus is getting generated so that is the code i am creating that is the test bench once that has been done finished you can give here some name or copy paste your code so okay after that in the source window you are able to see under simulation one tb ram is getting created so i am clicking on this this should be linked to this particular ram source code at this moment it is not linked because i have not given proper naming over there now i'll be copying this test bench code I told you everything why to write, how to write. For that, you can see the previous video. So, this is written. Keep the thing in mind that until and unless you are not writing the name properly, whatever is given to your main code, it will not get link. At this moment, I have written RAM in small and my name to this very log code is RAM. That's why if I'm saving, now it will be linked to this main code. That is the source code. So here you are able to see plus sign is coming. Now this is under your UUT. Means your test bench is written for this UUT. This should be happening for execution of the test bench. Okay. So that this has been done. So this code again, what are the inputs are there in the code that will be acting as a rage over here and what are the outputs that is acting as a wire over here then this is the component instantiation connection of that clock test bench clock with the uh, uut clock same way that is happening this is the clock is getting generated in this particular block and it is happening forever then in second block we are writing whether we need to write the data or read the data so if this is one meaning of that i want to write the data so where to write in the particular address and that's why address is mentioned over here which data i need to put so that data you need to write here and you need to give the time of certain delay so that hash 40 is given that is the 40 time delay has been given so this is the data stored in the 10th location and value is 10 that is a in hexa same way you can put multiple data over here so here nine address is there and data stored is nine here address is 8 and data in is 8 same way you can give multiple data after that you need to read the data and that's why write enable is 0 meaning of that you not now want to read the data from which location you will be reading that address you need to give over here now data in is not required because you are reading the data what is present in that memory location and that's why that is not required then again a delay and that way you can read the data from the various addresses always write the data first in the particular memory location and then read the data so that whatever data is written same data you are able to read or not that you need to check and here dollar finish has been written you can leave that particular uh, syntax or you can keep it so meaning of dollar finish is that this particular code will be executing up to this particular point when this particular last sentence will get end your code will be stopping or simulation will be stopping although this is running forever this clock will be running forever but it will be stopping when your last statement of this at this particular time will be ending okay that i'll be showing in the simulation so save ho gaya. after saving what you need to click you need to click on test bench run simulation and you will be running this code now as, as per the test bench has been written you will be getting your simulation waveform now this is what is the simulation waveform you are getting 
now zoom fit you need to click here this is the clock this is the enable this is what is the address data in data out now if that is not arranged properly you can arrange by clicking this and moving this like this you can arrange now when clock is positive h trigger at this moment and when enable underscore right underscore enable is one means you will be able to store the data in that particular address so address given in the test bench was 1010 that is 10 and data you are keeping in that memory location that is 4 bit data that is also 1010 and that's why you are able to see that 1010 and this 1010 that data you are keeping now data out will be cross 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 because you are not reading the data and that's why at this moment it is don't care same way in the second clock cycle after 40 time delay that you have mentioned in the test bench you are putting in the ninth location 9 you are storing in the eighth location you are storing 8 and in the seventh location you will be storing 7 as a data now after that you are making write enable 0 now you will be able to read the data now how you, look, you are going to read the data by providing that address now as we, we have kept data in this particular location so if i am reading this location now i'll be i should get this data so just see when this is 0 and clock is positive H trigger, I have given address as a 1010, I should be getting 1010. So same you are able to see on the data out now, that is 1010, as we have kept 1010 over here. Now when the location is 9, what data I have saved previously, that is 9, same I am getting over here, same way over here and same way over here. So this way, whenever you are performing writing operation data is stored in that particular address location and whenever you want to read the data that particular address you need to give and on that address whatever data is stored you will be able to see it over here so in this way we have performed our simulation of 14 uh, 16 by 8 uh, 4 ram uh, using vivado tool okay once that has been done we'll be moving ahead with the xdc file generation